This platform could turn your wildest ideas into stunning visual mood boards in seconds. Meet Google Mix Board, the latest AI-powered experiment from Google Labs that's changing how we brainstorm and bring concepts to life. We tell it what you want and it happens. So let's dive into it together. Simply go to labs.google.com slash mixboard. I'll leave a link in the description to take you there. But please note that Google Mixboard is not available in all countries. So you might need to use a VPN to get access to it. So simply log in with your Google account and press on get started and then press on new project. And this will take you to the infinite canvas of Google Mixboard. You can simply write anything and the canvas will make it happen. I'm going to write T-Rex and in a couple of seconds, I get various ideas or various concepts of T-Rex generated by Google Mixboard. Since my prompt tool is very generic, Google Mixboard tries to give me multiple variations to understand exactly what I'm looking for. So all these images are the ones I got and all of them are generated by and all of them are generated by Google Mixboard. You can simply select any image and move it around the infinite canvas or stretch it like so. And you can even select multiple images together and ask the Google Mixboard to combine it or generate a new image out of both images. So I'm going to ask it to combine these two images. And in a matter of seconds, I get a new image of a T-Rex that is combined out of both the previous ones. So the new T-Rex is now a combined image. of. Once the image is selected, you get this new menu at the top. Now I'm going to enter a new detail prompt, asking it to generate a t-shirt design style of the T-Rex. It's a, a little bit long prompt. I'm going to leave it in the description for your reference. And I get a style that is vector-like that can fit for a t-shirt. So this is how the Google Mix Word works. Simply write what you want and it's going to visualize it in a matter of seconds. So while this image of the T-Rex is selected, I'm going to write add spaceships and explosions. And voila, well, the image is edited. The exact T-Rex is as this. And now we have ex explosions in the background and some spaceships in the in space. So I'm going to add, I'm going to write a new prompt, say the design uh, from the edges with a soft brush and place it on a t-shirt mock-up on a black t-shirt mock-up and let's see what we are going to get and we get a perfect mock-up of the design faded around the edges of the image and placed on a t-shirt and if you select an image you get this menu at the top you can download the image you can duplicate it you can remove the background or generate more like it or even regenerate the same image again so let's press on the more like this image to regenerate similar images and in a couple of seconds the google mix board started to generate three images similar to the same style and mood of this one and all of them show t-rex in a more of a modern atmosphere and modern environment and you can again stretch the image make it bigger as you want or use any of the features at the top so let's remove all the images and for our second example i'm going to write a prompt asking it to generate or to create 10 halloween t-shirt designs with fun quotes and let's see what we are going to get and here are multiple ideas of halloween t-shirt designs some of them are typography designs and some are just images and some of them are just images so it's like it tries to give you as many concepts as possible to understand which ones you like so i'm going to delete a couple of images that i don't want and keep the ones that i like so let's use this ghost we're holding a pumpkin and i'm going to ask it to add text to this image and create multiple variations of it and we get to see three different variations with the same the exact same graphic but different text too cute to spooks pumpkin spice girl i'm ghosting every one yeah but the text is not placed perfectly maybe only the, the first one on the right so i'm going to delete them and i'm going to use this mummy angry mummy 
image to see how it's gonna look like on a t-shirt so i'm going to write show me this design on a t-shirt mock-up so it's like it's helping you in brainstorming ideas and seeing which ones you like and build on it so this is how the design looks like on a black t-shirt so it looks really nice so i'm so i'm going to select the original image again and i'm going to write show me this t-shirt on a male model on wearing a white t-shirt and as you can see every time you select an image it it is automatically added to your prompt box so that it it is going to generate the results based on the image that is selected and now we get to see a male model wearing the the, the design on a white t-shirt perfect generation now let's move to the next example i'm going to delete all of them and use this cat with pumpkin image I like the style so much so i'm going to ask it to create 10 variations of this image with the same cat and the same pumpkin keep the style and change the cat's position or movement different poses create different poses of the cat with the pumpkin create different poses with the cat of the cat with the pumpkin and this time we get five different images of the same cat and pumpkin different movements different activity different positions of the cat but what you can see is it kept the character of the cat as is just changes some uh, the position of the cat in the image so this is how you can create multiple designs using one design so it's like bulk designing using one image and creating multiple variations and multiple concepts out of it in a matter of seconds now i'm going to update uh, now for our next example i'm going to upload an image using the upload button on the left menu you can use it to add any image you have from your pc or laptop to the infinite canvas of google mix board so i'm going to use this skull image with the flowers to merge with this halloween theme cat with pumpkin so simply i'm going to select both images and add a prompt that says combine these images and create one design on a white background and the cat and the pumpkin to the skull scene and be creative you got to see this combined image of the skull and cat and the pumpkin so it, it merged it together successfully without changing the cat's character so i'm going to ask it to change the cat position make it stand standing looking into the camera and again we get a perfect result the camera the cat now is looking into the camera with a perfect image designed as per prompt so i'm going to delete all the Halloween generated images and i'm going to ask maybe next mode this time to to show this design or this image as it said to on an r without the red background and here we get perfect image of the design of the skull on um, as a tattoo it even removed the white colors from the skull to be placed perfectly on the arm so this is a perfect editing prompt the perfect editing result as quickly as and as simple as that so this is how google mix world helps you visualize any idea you have in mind and for my next example i'm going to upload these two cat stickers these two cat stickers to the artboard or to the infinite canvas and i'm going to to show how you can combine them together in a in a different scene so i'm going i'm asking it to combine in one image but we are going to change the image and add a wall with with graffiti at the background and we get a new image combining both characters and adding the wall at the back so it is perfect however i just don't like the outline around the, the cats so i wanted to remove this outline so what i'm going to say what, what i'm going to do is to select this new generated image and i'm going to ask it to remove the white outline around the character so this is an e a completely editing or retouching prompt just to remove the outline and if you have noticed this time the same image is going to be regenerated and not a new image and we get the same exact image without the outline around the character so this is perfect editing and both cats are exactly the same so for my next example i'm going to upload this design i have created this design on one of my previous videos on the channel before using 
Photoshop. So I'm going to create multiple images for my e-commerce story using this image. My prompt says, show me this design on a white t-shirt mock-up on a white on the back that's a hoodie on a white mug. So it's like creating or asking it to generate multiple images of this design to use as reference or in a presentation, for example, if I'm going to show it to a client. And in a matter of seconds, it generates all the images that I have asked of the design with perfect placement on multiple products, on hoodie, on a white hoodie, on a mug, on a t-shirt and on a pillow, exactly as my prompt says. And if you can see the design is exactly the same, it is not changed. This is how fast you can generate images of your designs on different mockups or create multiple mockups at once. So I'm going even to ask it to create a filter of fine teenage of five teenagers males wearing t-shirts with this design and standing together looking at the camera nigh a lot or with a lake at the background and I get the image that I asked five teenagers wearing the, the design however they, they look very really similar so I'm going to ask it to make them look different with different hairstyles and hair colors and let's see what we are going to get and this time the image is regenerated so it does not generate a new image because i'm asking it to edit the image so every time you ask it to do some editing it edits the the the, the, the original image and we get a new image with five teenagers that look completely different and ha they have different hair colors and for my final example i'm going to ask it to use this that image to build a complete brand around it by generating a logo with a graffiti style text and street word T, URL and UX website, interface with proper design, business card, a t shirt, etc. And in a couple of seconds, four images are being generated. We get the graffiti logo with the word boot. We get the business card back of the business card with the same exact image. We get it a t shirt streetwear style. And we get the UI UX interface example using the same image colors and design concept. So that was a quick tutorial on how you can use Google's Mixboard to help you in creating ideas and videos as your words so if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials thanks for watching